You're listening to a Skewed Orbit original podcast. Time, weather, and... How are we? We are, we're off to the races. What a way to welcome you to the podcast. It's me, Rachel LaForce. Uh, this is my show. What's up? If you are new, welcome. We've had a lot of new friends join us uh, on Instagram. I've got more people joining us on TikTok. Uh, I made a lot of men really angry on YouTube this week. Um, they were really mad uh, at my video telling them to leave women alone. I wasn't even talking specifically to them, but wow, did they disagree. They, they really did not like what I have to say, which also proved my point where I was like, oh, the algorithm will send you things to um, make you angry. Like a lot of times if you're like organically looking where it's like, it will send you things that it thinks will elicit an emotional response from you. Um, and anyway, it was just so hard to not respond back because, I, like, I was just like, I am not an idiot whisperer. You know what I mean? Like, you saw what you saw. Like, they're like, what did I just sit through? I'm like, that's a question for yourself, dog. Like, I didn't ask you to sit through this. I didn't ask you. And then they're all like, this is, and then, and then all giving their opinion. And I'm like, I feel like you guys didn't watch the video. That was like the whole point. Um, so anyway, I'm making friends everywhere I go. Um, I think I just responded to all of them. Thanks for boosting the algorithm. And then they would say something smart again. And I was like, I love you. Um, and that was the extent of it. Cause I was like, I'm not, I'm not going to give you any more of my time. Uh, you know, redneck 2935, like I'm just not doing it. And that's not calling them a redneck. That was really their handle. So don't at me. Okay. Um, so we've got all of these new people coming in. So if you are one of them and you've made your way to the podcast, uh, I'm so excited that you're here. This is a spiritual podcast uh, from me, a comedian, because I think healing is hilarious. I think it's absolutely um, hilarious that we that we're all like, what is life? And I want to live it to the best of my ability. And, you know, the fact that like the amount of investment and in things that we do of making ourselves feel better and healing generational trauma and just all of the work that we're doing. And also, you know, like TikTok trends exist and, <laughs> you know, like microwavable popcorn. Like I was at Costco this weekend with uh, my family. And I was like, I, f I always get energetically like really um, sick when I go to like big box places like that. Cause there's fluorescent lighting. Everybody's like, it just feels like this kind of like, not really like dark side of humanity, but I guess this very like humdrum, like uniform, like factory based, like more, more, more kind of energy. And not even saying like everybody was very, you know, delightful and whatever else, but just this idea where it's like, it's fueling this idea that there's never enough. Like the fact that we have to go and we buy things in bulk and, um, I'm acknowledging I was there on a Sunday buying things. Okay. I'm not above it. I'm just sharing the way it makes me feel. All right. Relax. Um, and, uh, just like with that and being there that I was like, isn't life so funny? Like, that's what I mean, where it's like that, that we sit here and it's like, I'm connecting with my guides and it's like, and also I bought 16 things of mustard on Sunday, but it was a good deal. So I had to, um, so let's not take ourselves so seriously, right? The two things can exist at once. Uh, we can be both creating and healing and creating and, um, contributing to earth in the way that we want it to look and feel and also dems the rules you know there are earthly politics and things that are set up um and that we get to participate in both and i think that's the beauty of awakening that's the beauty of continuing to live in our highest and being on that journey is you almost get to see certain aspects of 
being human, almost like visiting Disneyland, right? Where it's like, we go to Disneyland because there's, um, it's an amusement park. It's literally there to amuse us. And you begin to look at these different aspects of life and being like, oh, this is hilarious. Like, this is hilarious that we're doing this. Um, and so it really just offers you a new lens. I didn't expect to share any of that with you. Okay. I want to be very clear. Wasn't planning on talking about the mean men from YouTube or that I get very lightheaded in Costco, but here we are. Um, and it'll give you a real understanding. If you've enjoyed the last, what, five minutes, then you're going to love the podcast. If it's not for you, I feel like you got your answer. Um, all right. So last week, uh, we started our journey of the pack, all of us. My journey over the next 21 months is to get fit and famous as I define it. That for me is creating a new story, ultimately. Out of all of it, it is I'm creating a new story. And really that story is uh, I'm worthy, so fuck it, right? <laughs> like, again, this balance of Yes, it is like, cause I'm going to define my body and I'm not going to let old stories hold me back. And yes, it is all of that. And also like, I'm almost 40 years old, so I get to fucking decide, you know what I mean? <laughs> like I'm deciding that I'm ready to build a body that I love, that I appreciate that is built to take care of me. Uh, and it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks of it. It's that has no weight and or bearing, no pun intended. And then the the other aspect of it is like, yeah, we're we're going for fame. We're going for gold, baby. You know, like Simone Biles, here we come, right? Um, and so that's what we're doing. And for me, all of that is just about creating a new narrative and not just creating it, but living it. And so the more that we live it, the more that we walk in it, then we have evidence that it's real and we can have it because we could go into the whole discussion, right? Of like, well, all of life is an illusion. So what does it matter? Um, and so frankly, all of life is an, is an illusion. So what does it matter? Like we're, um, maybe this is a, a TMI, but you know, it's business stuff of like, we are getting a new um, business line of credit to be able to prop up some of these new businesses and they had to run our uh, credit. Right. And then remembering it's like, well, when they do a hard credit check, then it affects your credit. Like it drops your credit score down. And I'm like, okay, what could be more made up than the fact of like a credit, right? Cause it's like digital money, not real friends. It's not real. It's just a ledger. Okay. Uh, and then I have to prove to you that I have good credit. And then in order for you to say, yes, you have good credit, you're going to check mine, but then you're going to penalize me. Everything is made up. It's all made up. Go for your dreams. You know what I mean? Like, why? Like, just the more that, like, I do things that would have, um, a few years ago would have scared me or it's like, oh my gosh, like, I couldn't ask for that amount of money. Like, no one is going to give me that amount of money. And, like, all of these, all of those blocks, right? All of those fears of now being the other side and being like, yeah, they should absolutely give me that money. You want to know why? Because Warner Brothers openly said they lost $9 billion in quarter four. And everyone's like, all right, well, I guess we'll just, we'll keep doing this. $9 billion. It's made up. It's all fake, friends. Okay. So whatever your dream is, go get your dream, right? That's what all of this, creating a new narrative, creating that story and having that evidence that no one is coming for you because we all have this fear that if we step out and we do the exact same, like the exact thing that we want to do, like that life force energy that is in us, that we know is propelling us and we want to move to that next thing, we're doing ourselves a disservice by blocking that energy. That's where disease comes from. That's where, uh, you know, like um, sometimes depression, these feelings of anxiety and unrested nervous system, overspending, over drinking, sleeping with people we don't care about. A lot of these things come from us blocking that life force. I'm also acknowledging a lot of it comes from our DNA outside. Please hear me. I understand that uh, addiction, depression, all of these very major things are not that simple. But I also know that there is an element of this there is a major element to our own dissatisfaction that we're creating simply because we're not allowing that chi, that life energy force, that capable force that's in us to do what it wants to do. We're the ones holding back the dam and then being like, I don't know why I'm so frustrated. It's like, I have an idea, you know, like I got a couple of ideas and I'm not saying it's easy. 
Okay. Like if anybody knows, if anybody has written the book on how to hold back your own life energy, it's me. That's why I feel now capable to teach people about how to recognize that energy within themselves and decide that they're capable because, you know, if it, if it comes to you, it wants to come through you. It's that simple. So, you know, so many of us are like, I don't know, I have this idea, but I don't know if it'll work. It's like, yeah, the idea came to you because you're the vessel that it wants to come through, period. And the way that we have evidence of creating a new story, the way that we develop evidence that it's working is by doing it. So when we hold back that life force energy, when we hold back what it is that we really want to do, we hold back ourselves back from creating that new narrative is out of fear because we think that somebody's coming for us or they're going to shut us down or they're not going to like us, right? Or they're going to say mean things to us on YouTube. And the reality is negative things are going to happen to you. People are not going to understand what you do. Uh, people may try to cancel you. People may, all of those things are real. But if you truly believe in what it is that you say you believe, and I won't speak for you, I'll speak for me. But whenever I get scared in the universe is like, oh, you want to talk a big game, but it's like, then like, you, you think we don't have you? Like you think we don't have your back? Like there's this sense of like loyalty, right? And that's where faith comes from. This sense of, you know, it's something I really revered about uh, my grandma Marge who's since passed, but her faith was so steadfast and we could all use a little bit more of that, of can you trust that something greater than you knows? And until you, you decide the evidence that you have, if you want the evidence that things aren't working, that things are hard, that other people get things, guess what you're going to have? A whole big fucking bucket of shit's not working for you. Okay. But you can also decide I'm capable. It's scary. I'm going to do it anyway. Let's fuck around and find out. And slowly in that bucket, you're going to look down and go, oh, well, there's not really anything in there. And then maybe slowly, the more you do it, you go, oh, there's some more people in my community or, oh, I, I made money from that offering or, oh, right. You're going to get evidence that is supporting the story that it is that you want to tell. Okay. So I am hosting a free workshop. It is completely free. I'm not selling you anything. It's completely free. Uh, and not because I'm altruistic, but I'm just like, this is what I'm doing in my life. And it's also evidence that the more that I invite other people to ignite and activate their own life force, that it works, right? So like what better way to gain evidence than to bring together, as I've defined it, this pack, we are lionesses, we are creating all of these different things of coming together with a group of other people that are activating this life force that are doing this work and everybody's doing it slightly differently, which is so exciting right? Like being able to look on a Zoom screen and see like, oh, there's 30, 40, 50 other women here, or however, 10, five, however many people here that are also doing the same thing that I'm doing, because that also creates evidence. Oh, holy shit. I'm not alone, right? It's not just me. I can do this thing. And then it gives you permission to continue. Oh gosh. To stay on your mission. Uh-oh. Oh, somebody knocked me over with a tack hammer. Okay. Um, so this free workshop is all about activating your capable life force energy. Hold the applause. I know that sounds like a cult uh, and or like the next nexus or any of those. It's not. Um, there's just not better language. I've tried. I tell you that I have tried to pitch these things so many other ways and people are like, what is it? I don't understand. So I've had to just pony up and use a little bit of culty language and people understand what it is. Okay. So again, I am going on this journey to be fit and famous in 21 months, but we are using this, this time frame, And when we meet, it'll be next month in September, that will be a full 20 months for full transformation. Right? So this is the idea of like, uh, time is happening now. And so what it is that you want exists. And so we're going to set a time, a time frame, and we're going to set a 20 month time frame. Why? Because it's arbitrary and that's when I turned 40. And so that's what we're doing. Okay. So 20 months to be able, and that's what I also love about it is it's a good stretch of time. There's a lot that we're going to be able to look back at as we move through this together as a pack. And you're going to be able to look back for yourself and go, oh, wow, that was evidence this way. Or maybe like, oh, I didn't like that thing so much. Let me adjust it here. 
that when we use that as our time frame, you're going to be able to create that evidence of what is working and not and what is not working, right? So a good chunk of time is smart. That's a smart way for us to be able to have evidence, mile markers, et cetera, right? It's also a long enough time that you can see true transformation in your life, right? And uh, so that's what we're going to be doing. And we're going to be talking about, there's a five card pull that I did um, the day I got the download to do, to start this journey. Uh, in the Substack, I'm sharing each week one of those cards and talking about it in full. Now in the workshop, I'm going to open by sharing those five cards. But if you find that you are attracted to each of those, because they really are the five anchor points for this 21, 20 month journey. Okay. Each of them are a different anchor. One is ahead of us. Uh, that's kind of that, like, um, you know, the energy that we're getting from whether that's your guides, life force energy, creative energy, uh, Jesus, wherever you're kind of activating that activation point. Uh, and then there's kind of the earthly two sides. And then there's the two points that are grounding us. Okay. So this five point kind of energy pyramid is going to be paramount as we move through this. Now, to some of you, you may be like, well, I'm not really here for that part, but it's it's still true of like, what are those kind of points? And they're going to help guide you. They're going to be our guideposts as we move along. Okay. So if that's something that's intriguing to you, jump on the sub stack. It's $9.99 a month. Uh, and every week you are getting bonus content. Sometimes we do meditations. You get a blog post that I write every week. You get journal prompts. Um, more and more people from the pack are joining us over there. Um, and so as we develop more of a community in that space as well, We'll be holding more like monthly kind of meet and greets, things like that. So I'm going to allow that to also slowly evolve, but you can check that out. But in the workshop, we're going to quickly go over those five energy points. And then we're going to go into this activating your capable life force. And what does that mean for you? Um, so as we go through the process, then we can meet together again in another free workshop and kind of identifying, okay, where we are in this journey. Now, um, and all of that workshop information will be in the show notes here. So if you're like, wait, what? It'll all be in the show notes. You can also go over to my Instagram and you can reply to literally any post, any story. Just reply PAC, P-A-C-K, and you can get the uh, link sent directly to you. As of this morning, I think I have 32 of you um, that are signed up for the workshop. So you are not alone. And if you're feeling the itch that this is for you, get over there. Join the pack. Okay. So I just pulled two cards this morning because I had this feeling of like, okay, now what? Right? Like you made this grand declaration and it's like, okay, now what? Um, and I was kind of looking for like, what is the thing that I fully need to surrender in order to really activate this life force energy? Like what is the one thing that even if it was something I needed a reminder of, but like, what's the thing to surrender? And then the second card was, what do I need to allow myself to be guided by? And if you have uh, listened to me before, as far as uh, any intuitive or energetic messages, you will not be shocked at the accuracy of these cards. Pause for the water break. But here is what we got. So the surrender card that I pulled is surrender low self-esteem. Just hold for the applause on that one because could that be any more accurate? And it says, you deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. So the only buy-in for this journey that you're going on, and everybody's is going to be slightly different, okay? And even if you're not sold on the pack or whatever else, like, I'm not here to sell you. I'm just here to invite you. Okay. But if you're listening, then this is on you. You know what I mean? I didn't make you listen, but stick around. You know, we have fun. The, you have to surrender this low self-esteem. And this is asking us to surrender so much. It's asking us to surrender every old story that we told ourselves. It's asking us to surrender that oh, well, all my sisters are the ones that are loved in the family because they took a traditional way of being. You got to let it go. Oh, well, you know, my partner remarried and their person is better looking or younger. We got to let it go. Well, you know, I don't know. I really want to step out. We got to let it go. 
we got to let it go. And, and, or actually let me rephrase. You have to surrender. You just have to let it be what it is because you deserve the success, the love, the abundance, the money, the relationship, the job, the business. But this again is blocking your life force. When you keep going back to old stories, when you keep going back to everybody else gets to be number one, but me, then you have already decided. And it doesn't matter. Like the best thing about activating your capable life force of deciding that this is what you want to do is that you don't need anybody else to co-sign. Fucking period. That's the best thing. That's the, you could literally start today. That's the best part, right? It's hard. Oh, is it hard? Mama loves to be liked. Okay. I tell jokes on stage for people. Nobody wants to be liked more than me, but two things can be true at once. I can both accept and surrender that it makes me really sad and uncomfortable that I'm not everybody's cup of tea. And I wish that I was the next best thing. And I wish that everybody could acknowledge how wonderful I am and look at all of my talents and my gifts and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it'd be great. That would be really nice. I would love that. And also it's completely okay if nobody gets it. It's completely okay because I refuse to live any more of my life being dictated on if other people like what I'm doing. So you have to let this part go. Okay. The second part, when I asked for what is it that we need to be guided by? What is this? Again, we've got the five point structure that I've talked about. That's in the sub stack. We're talking about that in the workshop. And that is the five point structure of kind of this energy that you want to surround yourself by. But that's what's anchoring us into this new story. What is it that I want to be guided by? Right. And we got the magic guardian. Unlock the magic within, which the fucking course we did. Okay. Like what is the capable life force? It's your magic guardian. It is the magic that exists within you. So I was like, cool, cool, cool. Of course, of course. And, um, so this is the, the surrender doesn't come with a card book by the way, but this is what the magic guardian says. It says, unlock the magic within message. Stop looking outside yourself and recognize that you have incredible power within about this card. Magic with a K is the energy of the universe that allows you to manifest and create through the direction and power of your will. It changes according to your frequency. Pause. That's exactly what we're talking about because your magic energy is the power that exists within you. So if you decide that the power within you is to create roadblocks, is to create self-sabotage, is to say that you can't do it, then guess what? That's your magic, okay? And I've seen a lot of magicians out there making a lot of problems for themselves, okay? Hi, Rachel from 2016, all right? Or you can decide it, it changes according to your frequency. If you decide this is the magic, this is the power within that life force, and I am going to narrow in and allow that to be the guide, you will be like, hold on, be careful what you wish for, because you will be shocked at how quickly you magnify and attract those things, right? Which is also why we want to slow it down and go on this 20 month transformation journey, because it's going to allow us time to integrate activate and be able to acclimate to this new life force. Okay. The magic guardian is a representation of the angel of magic who helps you direct your will to bring something into creation. What did I just talk about? Guys, I can't make this shit up. Okay. I was like, what do we need to be able to transform our lives? And this says, uh, it's a rep representation of the angel of magic who will help you direct your will to bring something into creation. She is the angel who swirls around shamans and wise ones when they are calling on the energy of magic to help them manifest something that will be healing and supportive of their path. She, excuse me, she is the angel of all magic that is directed for the highest good of whoever is working with it. What I love about this too is for me personally, the journey of claiming fit and fame by 40 is by me saying, I'm ready to live in my highest. And that's really scary because I've had to let go of a lot of the ways that I thought my life was supposed to go, the dreams I was supposed to have, the things I was supposed to build, the people that were supposed to be in my life. But that's the surrender. I surrender. I'm just ready to live fulfilled. I'm ready to live healthy. I'm ready to live 
um, in my highest. And so I love that that's exactly what this is saying that it wants to help you do. The extended message. You are magic. You are the answer. Just a second. I have so much energy running through my body. I got to bring it down for just a second. Hold on. I get very spacey. Like I have to remind my guides for me. I'm like, uh, oh, human body, human body, human body. Slow it down. That is woo, a lot all at once, guys. Human body. Okay. The extended message. You are magic. You are the answer. You have it all within you. Again, this capable life force. You already know we just have to get out of the way. If you've been searching for an answer or a reason to focus, uh recognize that all you are looking for is already within you. You are a powerful and magical person with the capacity, the capability, the freaking life force. I can't make this up. With the capacity to direct your intentions and will your desires into being. But your power can only be powerful when you own it. So take time to acknowledge it. Your ability to dedicate yourself to a goal and make it happen is a real gift that you are being guided to recognize now. Outside of it being on page 21, I don't really know how it can be more accurate than that. Um, I'm astounded that not everybody is doing this work at this point. Um, Just what a gift. So that is what I have for you today. I just really wanted us, I know that when we start things, when we get excited about things, it's easy to kind of get in that energy. And then uh, you get an email back that you didn't get that thing or that person decided not to show up to your third date or like just life happens. And then it's easy for us to fall back into that old story. And I really just wanted this to serve as a a reminder of what is this new journey and really kind of building on what we shared last week and offering you even more. I've had so many of you reach out to me in my DMs and emails of like, Hey, I'm feeling really inspired by this or like, this is really where I'm at and what I'm wanting to do. And so I just really want to offer that inspirational frequency and that energy to you of like, uh, like, you know, everybody loves that quote of like a little ballerina poster. And it's like, if you see it, you can become it. And how many more cliches or quotes do we have, you know, or kitten posters do we have to make and or see in order to acknowledge like, it is what it is. It's just you that has to decide. And I hope that you decide for yourself that you're worth it. And my prayer is that you decide that you're worth it. And my prayer is that, you know, you will find groups of people that make you re that reinforce for you that it's real, that you can do it, that that energy is available to you. Um, and if you decide that the pack is the place for you, please come and join us. That's exactly what it is that I'm wanting to like ferment that energy in that space. So I would love to have you. Um, that's all I've got. <laughs> uh, yeah. Find me on, uh, Instagram. Come and follow along. The Rachel LaFour Show has its own page now. Please go and like that page. We're putting out like six clips a week from this podcast. So that way you can save them on your phone. Uh, we've got the quotes that go there. Uh, all sorts of different stuff. I'm, I'm doing my favorite unsolicited advice videos where it's inspiration that hits me sometimes at Trader Joe's, sometimes in the carpool lane. Uh, those will be going up there. So there's a lot that will be going out on that page. So please go and take advantage of all of that inspiration, knowledge, and value that's there. We're on TikTok. Okay. Go over, like my TikToks, please. Okay. Help me be a TikToker. Um, please go to YouTube. Okay. Balance out all of the men that hate me there right now. Okay. Go check that out. Tired mom. If you want to laugh, I've got 30 minutes of comedy for you that I would love for you to enjoy because it's all from my life. Okay. So please laugh at the hilarity, uh, the hilarity that is my life. Okay. So you can check that out. Tired mom on YouTube. All of those links will be right here as well as the free workshop, completely free. I am not selling you anything. How more, how many more ways can I say that? Go and join us there. I think that's it. If I forgot anything, Caroline will put it in the show notes. Go check out the Substack, $9.99 a month. Basically free. Go and check that out. And DM me. Let me know uh, what your mission is, what you're working on, and how you are activating this capable life force. Tune out, tune in. Love you, mean it.
time, weather, and...